Hey people, so it has been quite a while since I've made a video and uh, yeah well a lot has happened and I'll go into that in another video. This one is just been going to be about space engineers because we just got into beta and a lot has happened. Um, yeah well we got a major graphical overhaul at least uh, in regards to model detail. I really love the new models. Uh, it's still the same block placing system so it's mainly visual, doesn't really do anything practically, but I think it's awesome. Um, this here is my newly made um, easy start kind of deal, my own version. I think the, the built-in one is a bit uh, too excessive. Uh, anyhow, let's take a look at what I've made and take a look at the new models in the progress. So this is a little mining ship with enough fuel to last a couple of hours I believe. A little uh, gun buggy with an antenna, a gatling gun and an auto detector for scouting about. Of course there's the whole hangar. Um, down here we've got a refinery and two assemblers. And more turrets, like turrets. In here is uh, med bay, battery, reactor, all the power for the base, by the way, along with two solar panels outside and a turret, the control board, and also liking the new um, corner lights. And in here is uh, storage, which is the only room encased in metal all the way. It's heavy metal all the way around. I play bit like I would on multiplayer, uh, paranoid about people drilling into my stuff. Um, yeah, that is basically all there is to the base. Now on the outside, I don't have a lot of hydrogen left, um, so let's just do this instead. And this may actually be a bad idea because it doesn't have any air. Oh well, seems fine. All right. Outside we have uh, solar panels, an antenna, and laser antenna, I haven't really used those, so I just put it there for reasons. We got a uh, turret down here, protecting this entire side of the base with the valley and stuff. And up here we have the secondary one, protecting from up the hill and this direction, so it's, it's pretty much covered, I think. Now, uh, it's been a while since I've really played Space Engineers because I've had crashing issues, but after this, going into beta, I have not had a single crash. So that's just awesome, I think. Um, yeah, that's basically all there is to it. I may be playing, I'm not sure if you can see my frame rate right now, but I'm playing a bit higher graphics that I should especially foliage uh, range because I really I, I hate the the whole uh, circle of detail you know like you'll be in a spot and then a hundred meters around you there'll be foliage and grass and stuff and then you just have blank around that I like being able to look out in the horizon and see nature continuing on but I'm not sure my uh, computer is too happy about that I think it's a uh, CPU bottleneck actually Maybe graphics, I don't know. Really should make that antenna visible, I'm gonna lose my base. But um, yeah, I think that's actually about all I've got for now. Um, about the stuff that has happened, it's not like a catastrophic accident or something like that. I actually, it's because I got a new job uh, as a technician. So I have been busy working and relationship stuff and yeah. In any case, I am uh, hopefully going to be making more videos in the recent future. Um, some of it will probably be about space engineers. I'm considering starting up a new server because I've got a proper internet connection so I can actually make it at home now instead of renting. Um, and I've also got a small uh, 18 by 18 by 18 centimeter 3D printer. So I've started making stuff with that. Also, I've um, 
gone from using uh, pure Atmos Studio C to using the Arduino IDE, so I'm making a bit of, in my opinion, interesting stuff with that. Um, uh, in particular, I'm building a drone at the moment uh, using both 3D printer and electronics, which is, I think, going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, 3D printers, space engineers also play a bit of Path of, Me Path of Exile and uh, League of Legends. I'm not sure if that is of any interest to anyone who subscribed to my channel. Uh, I doubt it, but if you'd like to see anything with it, uh, shout out and we'll make something happen. I think that's actually about it. Also, yeah, one more thing. I've been doing a couple of computer builds. I'm not sure how much I've got left of footage from that. Uh, but that's been rather interesting to me, uh, including my uh, personal computer here. It's uh, well half a year old now, but uh, self-built. So whatever you want to know, shout out, and I'll make a video about it, I guess. And let's take a look at the bug here. I actually like, I think uh, the wheels are a bit bugged. Um, at least when I turn fully, it, it seems to act a bit weird. Um, yeah, there we go. Okay, we need to power that down a bit. Uh, but I think wheels have come a long way since. Uh, okay, that was like a bad idea. Um, since the beginning, I think. Not sure how they work in relation to if any of you remember my. Uh, yeah, as you see, when I'm full turning, they act weird. When I'm straight, they uh, they, they they turn normally. But yeah, it's 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 acting up. Um, yeah, if any of you remember my ex uh, some of my original videos by doing like actuators and stuff with wheels, trams, etc might be re revisiting some of those um, to try it out with the, the improved physics although the improved physics doesn't seem that improved right now because this is not responding at all and there we go we tipped over two or three with us oh well that's also a thing in this uh, here patch something about being able oh yeah look at this freaking tool that Attention to detail is amazing, I think. But you are supposed to be able to cut trees. Oh, down. Cool. It's pretty neat for clearing out the. Well, more heavily foliaged uh, areas. Although it's a bit excessive cut speed. I mean, angle grinder, tree, boom. But yeah. It's a space engineer, so it's not a wood chopping uh, simulator. Anyhow, uh, that'll be all for now. I'm starting rambling. Um, okay, that looks weird. If any of you want to know anything about the 3D printer stuff, Arduino, uh, any of the other games I play, want me to revisit old videos, uh, etc., whatever, really, uh, post a comment and I'll take a look at it. So uh, that is all for now, thank you for watching and see you another time.